My question is that what made you decide to pursue a career in entertainment at such a young age? I, stay, I mean, I have serious love for music. It feels like that's the only thing that I have, so I had to pursue it. And um, it just feels right. It feels like that's what I should do, so no, no second thought. There was no double guessing for me. Okay, and uh, what was the best concert that you have seen, that you have been I feel, to I feel like Kenya is going to be the best. I've not seen it yet. Forward <laughs> to that. <laughs> and um, I just want to know, what are the rituals or things that you do before you go to perform? Like as artists, we all get very nervous. But we do something to go on stage. For me, I just... I mean, I don't get nervous. I, 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 I won't lie. I, 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 there's this adrenaline. Like, I want to see what's up. But um, I'm, I'm just okay. My ritual is, is normal. Just go on stage and do my thing. Okay, thank you so much. All right, thanks. Amale, this is a So, like, uh, how can you relate to the Kenyan music industry and the uh, Nigerian music industry? Um, Honestly, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not the biggest fan of country and country thing and you know music politics, country and country. But um, I know, I know a lot of, I know South Soul for sure. I know South Soul for sure, and um, there is there there is a similarity with between Nigeria and Kenya, and there is some sort of connection with the music, and I feel like. It, at the end, we're all making African music. We're all making music for Africa, and that's the most important thing. And uh, when you're using our projects, do you have like target market? Because uh, we see here in Kenya, the songs are mostly hyped and pushed. For I'm, I'm not the best guy to ask that question. Anything about marketing, I'm not into it. I just make music and then I put it out straight up. Hi, sorry. My name is Shem from Pulse Life Kenya. Um, so you used to be a producer before you became a recording artist. Mm -hmm. So I have two questions. My first question is, are there any notable names that you had worked with before you became a personality a recording artist? And my second question is, have you been involved in any of the production on your EPs and your upcoming album? Okay, yes. Um, I used to be a music a record producer before I started singing myself. And uh, I didn't work with any big names. I know that's the question, right? Yeah. I didn't work with any big names. It was just me and my circle making music because we loved it for a long time. And then, um, second question again. Second question is, have, have you been involved in producing any of the songs? Oh, the yes, yes. Yes, I produced uh, about three songs in my first EP. I produced like two songs in my second. And I, I, I'm definitely producing a few on my album. Okay. Do you have a timeline for this album that you said is almost ready for? I don't. I don't. Next person. Can you come again with the second question, please? Okay, in Kenya, a musician can work for maybe 10 years or, or more than 10 years, but not yet receive the international recognition. But from West Africa and other countries, you get that they receive uh, international recognition. What do you do differently from Kenya? Like I said earlier, I'm not the best guy to ask about marketing and stuff. <coughs> can I get water, please? Um, I'm not the best guy to ask about marketing, but for me, all I do is make my music and put it out. Label and all that deal with, deals with, like the question you just asked. But I know for sure that good music sells itself. As long as it's good, um, people are definitely going to buy it. People are definitely going to buy it if it's good. I mean, that's my best answer for me. Hi, Amalie. Oh. My name is Mugani Irongo from Hansa Kenya. I want to ask if you've seen the Understand Challenge. I've seen it. Have you seen it? I've seen it. You would like you to do it for us? <laughs> yes. I mean, that's why I'm here, right? I came yeah. to Kenya to 
play with everybody, like play my songs. So definitely you see me on stage. Right. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Any other questions? Hi, Umale. My name is Kido. I work for SPM Bath. First, welcome to Kenya. Thank you. Uh, you among the Nigerians selected for the YouTube Black Voices Music Class uh, 2022. Maybe you can share with us the experience. And the second question is that uh, so it's only your photo photography and so many times you've spotted with uh, international daughter. Maybe you could confirm to us. Are you dating Tanasha Amuha? Oh. oh, can I get water, please? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, first, I am single. I said I had a Kenyan girlfriend, but I'm single. And um, <laughs> and uh, I never had a girlfriend, so I don't want to talk about the the rumor. The rumors on Instagram, right? That's what you're talking about. The videos and stuff on Instagram. Yeah, so I never had a girlfriend. And um, what was the first question again, please? The first question was, uh, you are among the few Nigerians selected for the uh, YouTube Black Voices Class 2022. Maybe you can share with us the experience. I mean, um, it was a, it was a big, it was a big thing for me to be part of uh, the YouTube YouTube Black Voices, and um, it's growth. It's actually putting Africa, like I said earlier, we're all selling African music, African culture, and. Um, that is just me representing Africa, and uh, you know, so it's a big deal, not just for me, for everybody, Kenya, Nigeria, Africa as a whole. And um, yeah, does that answer the questions? <laughs> uh, Malin, this is Lechaz from El Media. I was asking, uh, there was a time that you posted your girlfriend. The other day they said, they said you broke up with her the moment you posted her. Is that true? That's not true. I said earlier that I never had a girlfriend. <coughs> Those were rumors. I mean, I don't want to talk about this, but you guys are definitely choking me with it. But those were rumors, and um, I think it, it got handled the way it got handled. Yeah. My, my second question, uh, how, uh, how do you expect people to receive you on when you are performing? Any way they feel like. Uh, I am human, like everybody else. So um, one thing so much that I've worked on is to make sure people don't see me as, as an item or as a tool. I'm a human just like you. So love me the way you feel like, just the same way I feel like loving you. So any way you guys feel like treating me on stage, it's, it's totally up to you. Okay, so um, that brings us to the end of our press conference. So I would like to give an opportunity to a photographer to take a photo of the four of them behind these banners. The rest of you just kindly relax. Sawa sawa. Oh, yes. And uh, we'd like to thank our sponsors, Pepinos, Bob Places, Velvet, Spoton, Chandari, and the for our hospitality partners. Oh, <laughs> <laughs>